and welcome to another one of my quilt block tutorials. In today's video I will be showing you how to make this. This is the pinwheel block. I've actually made two versions of this block just so you can sort of see the difference that it has when you use the fabrics in a different way. Although this block looks a little bit complicated and tricky, I guarantee it is very very simple and lots of fun to make. So here's how you do it. Begin by cutting two 6 inch squares from one of the fabrics for the corners and then two 4.5 inch squares from each fabric for the centre half square triangles. To make the half square triangles, mark a diagonal line on the back of two 4.5 inch squares with a pencil and ruler. Pair these two squares with the other two 4.5 inch squares and pin them together. At the sewing machine, place the machine foot to the left of the pencil line and sew a quarter inch seam, chain stitching the next unit through. Once you've reached the end, remove the units from the machine and sew a quarter inch seam along the other side of the pencil line. Cut the joining threads, then with a ruler and blade, cut the units in half along the pencil line resulting in four half square triangle units. Press each of the units open with a hot steamy iron and then snip off the dog ears from each corner. Lay the half square triangles out in this design. Next, separate the two rows then flip one of the top squares onto its opposite. To ensure all of the centre points match up at the end, nest the two seams together that make up the half square triangles. Then pin the units together. Repeat the same step with the next two half square triangle units and then take them to the sewing machine. Sew quarter inch seams along each of the unit's pinned edges. At the ironing board, open out the rows and then with your fingertips, gently open the seams you've just sewn. Using the tip of the iron as a guide, press each of the centre seams open. Okay, I'm just going to pause this video right here for a moment to chat about this seam. This particular technique is known as a butterfly seam or an open seam. The reason why we're using this technique for this block is because the centre seam or point of the block will eventually become too bulky and hard to manage if we continue with the more traditional one-sided seam. So the next few seams will be opened out. And unpause. Lay the two rows back out and flip one onto the other. Centre the open seams together and pin the edge in place. At the sewing machine, carefully sew a quarter inch seam along the pinned edge, taking your time as you come to the thick centre where all the seams are merging together. On the back of the block, open out the seam you've just sewn using your fingertips and then press it with a hot steamy iron. Give the top of the block a good press too. Take the two 6 inch squares and lay one on top of the other with all of the edges matching. Then with a ruler and blade cut the triangles in half resulting in four half square triangle pieces. Along one side of the block flip one of the triangles over ensuring that the point of the triangle is lined up with the centre seam. And once it's in the right place pin the pieces together. Then rotate the block and repeat the same step on the opposite edge. Sew a quarter inch seam along one edge and then remove it from the sewing machine and then do the same with the other side. Then carefully press each seam open in the usual way. Yes, I'm pausing this video again. But I just wanted to say, although at this stage the shape of the block looks a little bit odd, bear with, I guarantee it'll all work out in the end. 
Next, pin the last two triangles to the remaining sides of the block in the same way as before. Sew a quarter inch seam along each edge and then press each side open. And finally, to finish the block, trim off any undesirable wonky edges so that the final block measures a little over 25cm square or 10 inches square. there's my version of the pinwheel block hopefully I've inspired you to go and make your own so before I end today's video and say my farewells I just want to chat about the videos that are coming up in the next month as you all might know Christmas is approaching us very very soon and I have lots of different Christmas themed videos in the planning so I've got lots of crafts and sewing and baking hopefully you'll enjoy those so from now on until the end of December I will be doing two videos a week so I usually upload on a Sunday I'll also be uploading on a Wednesday so watch out for those videos and hopefully you'll enjoy them and of course if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to my channel press that little red button and you will definitely see everything that I will be doing and of course, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye!